the reason I didn't want to wear glasses is because it, it, it's, it's kind of hiding. I think that uh, a blind man uh, doesn't hide. He is blind and he is not seeing even though he's looking. Oh, I'm sorry. I seem to have lost my way. Would you mind looking at my ticket? My seat, I believe, is somewhere in this section. I, w I was pleased, uh, but it's not like a, a MGM multi-million dollar movie, you know, where everything is, you know, perfect. Where are you going? Kansas. That's a flat state, considered to be without unique features, but I dare say, it is subject to terrible tornadoes. <laughs> the first time I saw my son Orion, you know, I, I was, I was shocked. You know, he was in uh, it was silver makeup, and uh, he he looked enormous, and uh, very sweet. People call me the Tin Woodman. <laughs> Well, uh. you go through the lines and you let your mind wander. Uh, it calls up images to you. And the, the continual familiarity you have with the dialogue, you, do, you don't memorize them. They, they come to you slowly with familiarity. And uh, otherwise, you're learning by rote, and nothing uh, will come of natural ability if you learn by rote. Reading has allowed me to see things I otherwise never would have seen, to visit places I've never been to, to, to meet people I otherwise would never have met. Tell me, how are things in Oz these days? 